What's going on guys, Bengal again here coming back at you with another video back on the Ben Bones Road to Glory. The best running back in the nation, the best player in the nation. Coming off kind of a lackluster performance against Texas A&M in a weird episode. Only one game because of uh, me shutting off my computer accidentally. Hopefully not going to do that uh, this time around. But I will show you guys the Heisman watch. I think Ben Bones should still be at number one, and he is. However, today we look to dominate. And let me know what you think of the shorter episodes down below. I feel like they're more uh, easy to digest. However, I know a lot of people still like the longer episodes as well. But maybe this means I can get the series to you more often if I don't have to record two episodes or two games in every episode. We might mix it up, mix and match, and see what we can do. We got practice. We have over 5,000 points. I think that wash them, uh, wash them off is going to be what I go for. Triple check, not really a need for that. Catching plus three would be cool, but he doesn't really drop the ball ever. Strength plus three would be cool. But I think that an increase to spin, juke, and agility is what we're going to go for. And I think I might as well use that now. Might as well use that now. Spin move 88, juke move 97, agility 84. And ideally, we get up to 4,000 points which we definitely will after the game uh, and get an increase in stamina as well as injury. And stamina is the big one there. Let's go ahead and hop into practice before taking on the number 22 LSU Tigers in Death Valley. Heading down to Baton Rouge. Tigers versus Tigers. Should be a good one. Let's have a good week of practice. Let's set the tone for this game. Let's get after it. What is that throwaway? What are we doing here? 23 reps. They've been not good at all so far. Spin back through the hole. Nice little juke move. There we go. That's how you do it. Let's get up to 200 Coach Trust in this practice and then see where we are for Coach Trust overall. Good pitch. Not a bad juke. Didn't do a whole lot there. Why are we throwing that ball there? See, if ever there was a time to throw it away, it would not be... like, it, Or it would be there. I mean... And why are we pitching that? That's just an immediate tackle for loss. I mean, we're losing so much coach trust because Jalen Harris is like, oop, get tackled for a huge loss. I like, come on. What are these reps? We're losing so much coach trust. It's tackle for loss, tackle for loss. Stop pitching it, please. Oh my God, Jalen Harris. I mean, good God, please. I mean, this was absolutely the worst week of practice we've had in so long. Tackle for loss, 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 tackle for loss. That was the entire practice. I don't know what was happening. It was terrible. I hated it. What a disaster. Check out Coach Trust. See where we are uh, in pursuit of... No, we're already Team Legend. We are Team Legend. So we get um, two new plays to choose from in extra plays. And we can use the ability 20 times a game. So we've had that. So what are we going up? What is the 200 for? Can we lose the ability? Not that we would, but I... Jesus, all right. Uh, hopefully, that practice is not indicative of what's going to happen in this game. In fact, should we get any type of single game upgrades here? Let's do it. Agility plus two, and then big tackle to 99 as well. Hit power, why not? Didn't really cost a ton, and it might help us win this game against the number 22 LSU Tigers. Toughest game of the year by far. They're better overall than we are, but we have a better offense. They've got a 99 overall defense. Ben Bones is going to need all the help he can get here from the rest of the team. Obviously, he doesn't need any help himself as he's such a dominant player. Let's go out here and let's impress. Rain is pouring down here, but we're going to start with the ball on the 25. See what we can do here. Maybe even the 20. Was it the 20? I don't know if we returned here if it was a touchback or not. We got to the 30 there after 5, right? Are we on the 30 or are we on the 25? We're just past the 30. So we started on the 25. Here we go. This is like a weird screen. We'll see if he can... Yeah, he gets it away quickly. I was going to say if he holds on to it longer, we might have some type of option in the flat. But he's going to hold on to it. It's third and one. And this is not the play call that we want to see at all. Third and one, read option. You got to hand off the ball here no matter what. He takes it himself. All right, probably best. He takes an absolute shot. Good. Let's get somebody else in there. But uh, Ben Bones here on the counter. We'll see what we can do. We just have to take advantage of our opportunities. LSU's got a dominant, dominant defense. And we just got to showcase that Ben Bones is clearly the best player in the nation with an unbelievable performance 
against the top ranked defense. I mean, yeah, they got to be up in that conversation. I know they've lost a couple games. They're five and two, but they're number 22 with a 99 overall defense. They got to be pretty good. There we go. Ben, seven yards. Don't take him off the field. That's a problem. That's when bad things happen. How do I get more extra plays? Two more extra plays to choose from. Doesn't look like it. Seems like there are just two. Along with our main play that we I don't want to choose. How do I get more extra plays? Please. Harris passes to McCreary for a six-yard touchdown, though. Good for him. And we're going to hold this 7-0 lead as the defense stopped LSU. I love to see it. Now we're blocking. This is no good. I don't even know who to block on here. Maybe that's strong safety. Maybe that's our responsibility. Oh, shoot. Right, we're getting in the way here a little bit. But Jalen Harris, pretty good 12-yard gain. Oh, that's not the way I wanted to spin. Why would I want it to spin backwards? Look at this. Why would that be the spin direction? Oh, we took a step to the right side, and of course, we're losing yards again. I, let's run the midline read option here. We'll see if we can somehow get this, but I assume Jalen Harris is going to keep it once the defensive end crashes down. He actually doesn't. There's a good spin move. Ben Bones takes a shot. Still gets six. Third and four. In my opinion, this is a running situation. We will not be running it. So let's see if Ben Bones can uh, run the table out of the background. Background? Out of the backfield. And get open. He did. He did. Please throw it. First down, Ben Bones. Thank you. That is maybe one of the worst plays I've ever seen. Did anyone block it all? So it seemed like they blitzed 11 out of 11. And uh, we did nothing. It is tackle for loss after tackle for loss after tackle for loss. This is terrible. This is terrible. Second and ten. There we go. That's a good play. I mean, we're only picking up nine. Nine's a good gain. Don't get me wrong. Uh, why are we off the field? Picked up the first down. I guess that's a positive. And now a bunch of blocking plays, which we're going to skip. Harris throws it away in classic Jalen Harris fashion. We're going to run buck sweep towards the wide side of the field. And see what we can do. They're not exactly stacking the box. Only six players in there. Blocking looks decent. Good blocks. Juke back inside. Fall forward. Pick it up 10. This is where we have to run it. We can bone them. We can slam it down their throat. And we're passing. This is not the play call. This is not the play call. Oh, bones open. Bones open. Caught it. Two-yard gain. Couldn't fight into the end zone. Uh, I didn't really like that route at all. And Ben Bones is off the field. But we score. And we stop LSU. Oh, my goodness. Defense is coming to play. Although, to be fair, we've, we come to play in every first half. And then absolutely do not come to play in the second half. This is so reminiscent of the game that you guys wouldn't have seen last episode because my computer turned off. We ended up winning it, of course. But uh, we were up 14-0. We were trying to go up 21-0. Jalen Harris threw a pick. And then before I knew it, it was 14-7. And then 14-14. So we have to take advantage. We have to score in this situation. Going up 21-0 on the road in the first half would be so huge. Ben Bones taking over against a defensive end. That's how you get bodied. Setting up the touchdown. Roger McCreary... 44 yards. That's why you put Ben Bones in the game. Plug him in at left tackle. He'll completely shut down a defensive end. He'll give Jalen Harris the, you know, all the time he needs. And the only way that Jalen Harris is going to be making those plays is with Ben Bones as his left tackle. Now you think, oh, 5'10 left tackle in the SEC. Probably not very viable. Watch the tape. Going outside there. That one incomplete. Outside. Please throw it. Oh, my goodness. Wide open, and Jalen Harris couldn't get rid of it. LSU going to call a timeout here. Almost choked, and we're going to run the football. On third and 18. This is classic Pat Shermer, New York Giants head coach offense. Former uh, New York Giants head coach, I should say. Someone's going to try and correct me. Um, he was fired. Like, I wasn't aware of that. Ben Bone's going to fight here. Pick up uh, seven. LSU calling another timeout. And we're going to punt. LSU, please don't score before half. And they scored before the half. This is classic. Can we go up? Score another touchdown before the half? It's possible. 
27 seconds. Let's do some damage as a receiver. Oop. That's a mistake. That's a mistake. That's a mistake. And that's a touchdown. Oh my god. 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 Oh, my god. oh no. I'm getting deja vu. I'm getting flashbacks. I didn't expect that to be the coverage. I really didn't. Oh my goodness. That's obviously not my fault. Oh, Jesus. Terrible. I mean, that's that's completely on me. Got a little bit greedy. Not gonna lie. Screen. Okay, here we go. Something's shaping up. I, I tried to juke there. He refused to do it. Stiff arming. One second to go. Timeout. I don't know if we're going to be able to score from this type of situation. We've been killing it with the streaks down the right sideline. So if something like that can get open, maybe. But I think we're just going to... We're just going to run the ball here. Uh, the Hail Mary is not going to be effective. But with a run, with the way blocking could shape up, might be able to take this to the house. Ben Bones breaking a tackle. There he goes! Ben Bones down the sideline! He's going to go all the way! 54-yard touchdown to close out the first half! Ben Bones. Get boned, LSU. Unbelievable. They thought they had him. You didn't. Look at the acceleration. Dive and miss. Dive and miss. Odell, number 13, you're out of here. Oh my goodness. Has there ever been another better player in the history of the game? 28-14. Auburn over LSU. These Auburn Tigers are coming for it all. And Ben Bones is coming. Hard. The bone is coming. Let's go, baby. Ben Bones, go. Come back and block, too. Come back and block. Do something. Figure it out. Figure it out, man. First and goal. What did I say? Inside the five, automatic touchdown. It, I mean, we're going to a manual transmission now. Clearly, that's far from automatic. What is that play call? We're going to score, it looks like, and we stop LSU from scoring. Let me tell you, the defense has played incredibly well. But I don't know how we get in these situations when we're near the goal line now. And all of a sudden, the automatic touchdown from Ben Bones is no longer automatic. It's like we try to get cute and we run these sweeps and these counters and these draws near the goal line. Run a dive and run it down their throat and it's guaranteed points. I don't know why that's not the play call every single time. Here's the screen. And we are going to get no separation, no space at all, and lose three. I mean, not good. Third and 16. I feel like the slip screen to the opposite side is going to be a good play here. We just got to get Ben Bones in space. Only four catches for 22 yards so far. That's not really his MO. Ben Bones is someone that destroys teams uh, as a receiver, and that's going to be extremely apparent here. No one's blocking. No one's blocking. Ben Bones is still going, though. He's still going. What an unbelievable play. Doing it literally by himself. No blocking whatsoever. 47-yard gain. Why are we so stupid? That's the end of the third quarter. We got a big lead here, and this would be a huge win. This should propel us inside the top three. We're number four right now. This is a, a big win over a ranked opponent. They're not extremely highly ranked, but they're ranked nonetheless. And they're, they're a solid team as Ben Bones is wrapped up in the backfield. It's going to be another loss of yards. It's going to take our uh, coach trust down, unfortunately. Although I, I don't think it really matters at this point, considering how we already have like everything we'd ever want. As that one's going to be a quarterback keeper. Jalen Harris picks up two third and nine in a really awkward spot of the field. We're not going to run block, I'll tell you that. So where can we make an impact? Probably on deep attack, setting up on like some type of angle route. Maybe we'll make that like a short inside wheel. That's exactly what we're going to do. Ben Bones holding on. First down, gets 12, down to the two. Give me a halfback dive. Let me bone it all the way. We want to get in the end zone. Halfback dive. I love it. This, I guarantee is an automatic touchdown. We didn't even have to choose a hole. Just run forward and get in. Automatic. 41 to 14. LSU answers with a touchdown. But it might be too little too late. It's 41-21. Two and a half minutes to play. And we're in shoe clock mode. We are run the ball to Ben Bones every single play mode. Which is what we should be all the time. Pick the wrong hole. I mean, that was terrible. Uh, left side was open. 
couldn't really get over there. I wish I could click like run previous play. Ooh, extra plays has halfback dive in there. Hopefully blocking sets up the same way and this time I actually read it and hit it correctly. Found a lane, spun back, fallen forward, eight yards, easy, easy money. Why are we taking Ben Bones out? They're giving, you're giving them a chance to answer. We got tackled for loss in the last play. We're in victory formation though. That is gonna do it for the game. Your final is gonna be 41 to 28. It could have been a bigger win. It really could have been. I think it very easily could have been something in the neighborhood of 48, 21, something like that, depending on extra points. But we didn't score. We gave them the football back. We allowed a touchdown. 41, 28 is gonna be your final. Decent game. We had some big plays that are going to kind of carry the numbers for Ben Bones here. Overall, nothing spectacular or spectacular, as we saw in one of the episodes. That one was so funny because people were like, oh, uh, uh, actually, he, they spelled spectacular right, even though I said the spectacular written underneath. The little commenters were like, I'm, I, Bengal was wrong. I'm so excited. Listen to what I say. I promise you, you're going to, when you think I'm wrong, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I will be. You, you got me. Oh, it'll be your big moment to shine in the comments. But with the spectacular to spectacular, I was right. And you guys trying to take it away from me. I worked so hard to find it an error. You know how many editors probably looked at this product before it went out? And it finally goes out and they made an error and I caught it? <laughs> I'm a little nerd. 19 carries for 144, two touchdowns, six catches for 81 yards. Big, big game for the Bowen Meister. So we move up to 7-0. and oh. The only problem is we didn't get up to 4,000 skill points, so we're not going to be able to afford the stamina and injury upgrade. So hopefully something like that is available in the next week. Because in week 10, we take on Arkansas. So what do we have here? Tom, don't jinx us. Wash him off again, which I would like again, because it's spin move to 90. Juke move would be maxed out. Agility would go up to 85. Ooh, might have to do that. And we're going to stick at number four. LSU only dropped one spot. I mean, we got to be getting a ton of votes for that uh, number one spot. Let's check out the top 25 polls. We'll check out the coaches and the AP poll. So we have a lot of points. We're almost going to pass Oregon. Let's see the uh, AP poll here, the media. So we got one vote for the number one spot. Still 7-0. I think a big win here at Arkansas would pretty much solidify our spot inside the top three because Oregon plays number 21, Arizona State. That could be a loss for them. Let's see the BCS poll. Probably about the same. Yeah, I mean, we just need, need, need to make that number one spot, or at least number two, and, and play in the national championship. We have a lot of games to go. Because we're going to have to play in the SEC Championship. Obviously, the winner of the West and the East uh, would play each other. And uh, we sit in the, uh, the power-heavy West. It's going to be a tough matchup. Mississippi State, 7-1. and one. Alabama, 3-5. and five. They're, They've had a disastrous season. I mean, 3-5 and five for Alabama. You got to remember, they're a 99 overall. 99 offense, 99 defense. South Carolina, 6-2. Florida, 6-1. Georgia, 6-2. I mean, we got a good record right now, 7-0, undefeated. As long as our defense continues to play the way that they've played, we're going to be in a great spot. But I think we're going to call it another short episode here today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.